How's it going everybody? Welcome to Outdoors with Todd. I'm Todd and we're heading to the outdoors everybody. Stick with me. So right where I am now there's a huge uh, wolf print. As you can see my hand's right next to it. My hand can almost fit in there. So a big wolf came this way. Actually it looks like it's going the opposite direction that I'm traveling. Because you can right here is the uh, the front of the paw and the, you can see the claws. And right here is where the back pad is. So we're on a trail right now. There's actually a little, uh, like a coyote trail or a little fox trail as well in the mixer. So pretty huge trail here. Pretty awesome. And it's uh, fairly fresh, maybe two or three days old. Because yesterday it was quite, uh, quite warm and it kind of looks like the snow in there has kind of melted a little bit. So I would say it was either early yesterday or the day before. Really cool. How's it going everybody? Merry Christmas. Today is uh, Christmas Eve, December 24th, and we're heading in for a Christmas coffee. So go grab your coffees and join me. Let's get into some fun stuff here. I got uh, two different things to unbox here for the first time. This one here is a Silky Katana Boy 650. Look at the size of this. It's like a samurai sword. Oh, I'm excited to see this and use this. Holy smokes. That's so cra crazy. Can you believe that? Okay, we got a little twist tie around here. Get some instructions. <laughs> okay, how do you open this one? You gotta press on this. Huh, it's kind of weird open. Oh, there you go. Oh, you gotta continue press. Weird. Okay. That's what it is. You gotta have it unscrewed all the way. Wow! That is so crazy. Look at this thing. <laughs> First it locks in. So it won't open all the way unless you got that uh, the dial open all the way up. That is insane. We're going to use that in a minute, for sure. Let's lay that right here. So I also ordered a uh, package from a company called Hilco Works. It's a German, German X company. So let's open those up. some uh, stickers, some uh, oil, and instructions and stuff like that. Maybe something about the company. That is really cool. Okay. Oh my. Oh my. That is so cool. Oh man, is that ever beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. Nice leather sheath. Just goes over the, uh, the head of the X. Oh man. That is so beautiful. Nice camping axe, nice backpack axe, small hatchet. Oh, what a sexy axe. That is so cool. Well, I got three axes. 
This one is the smallest one. Small hatchet. Heel co work from Germany. I gotta get used to this thing apparently. The uh, leather on this is really tight. Anyway. Oh, look at this one. This is like a, a small camping axe. Light enough for one hand, good enough for two hands, which I really like. And it's got a, uh, a belt-like sheath over it, which I really think is cool. This is awesome. So, that is so cool. The leather is really cool. Craftsmanship on that is awesome. So cool. Oh, so it's a different style of metal, darker metal. That is so nice. Look at that. <whistles> Beauty. That is so beautiful. Oh man, what a nice axe. Feels so nice in the hands. The uh, handle on this is so nice. Really comfortable. Okay. And the third and final one. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this is going to be for split and wood for sure. <laughs> that is unreal. I want to go over across the pond now and start splitting some wood for a fire. Just so I can use this thing. <laughs> the, uh, the sheets fit really tight. I can, I can hardly even get that one off. <laughs> Oh my god, guys. Look at that. That is unreal. That's a good splitter there. Whew. Oh man. The handles are so nice. The oil that came in that bag must be for the handles, actually. That is so nice. Wow. Tell me. Oh man, I'm blown away by this one. We did an unboxing of an axe a few years ago. And uh, initially, I really liked that axe. Because the head on it moves. It doesn't lock in. These ones are locked right in. With the wedges and stuff. But the one I had before, once the handle shrunk from dry, when it got dried out, the handle kept the head kept moving. So I actually I kind of didn't like it that much. But these ones here, oh my god, can you believe that? Merry Christmas to me. That is awesome. I bought these quite a while ago, actually. I, I had these in, sitting in the house since probably November, I think. Beauty, that's unreal. And I was waiting for the perfect time to show them off and open them. And today's the day. Oh man, blown away here. We gotta get across the beaver pond and start cutting some trees here. Test these babies out. Beautiful. So the first piece of gear I'm gonna try out is the Katana Boy. Katana Boy 650. Oh, you gotta, you gotta stand back far. <laughs> okay, let's see here. It's gonna get used to it. That thing chops like crazy. That thing is insane. That is so cool. I cut through that really good. The teeth on that are insane. Some of the teeth on that are almost an inch. An inch long, that's crazy. That is so cool. Wow, that made quick work of that tree. <laughs> that was so awesome. I got a few things to split and I'm gonna use a smaller hatchet and of course you don't really use a hatchet for splitting but uh, just to give this one a try I wanted to give it a try so here we go that will definitely work in a pinch for sure Obviously not the greatest splitter, but I handled that pretty good. The head on that is pretty good for uh, splitting wood. So we'll see, huh?
That one's flipped pretty good. Try this awkward one. No, oh, no problem. That handled that easy. We'll get the other one now. Eh? So right now we got the other one. This would probably be my go-to one for like backpacking and uh, like camping and stuff. Because it's not too big and it's not too heavy. A smaller hatchet is probably good too. So here we go. That handled that pretty good. There's a big uh, knot in this one. So. If it wasn't for that knot, I would have sliced right through there like butter. So this axe is really nice. Nice size, perfect size, fits good. And you can still use two hands, which is really good. See? That was a slice, that one. And this is the side with the... Uh, but they're not in it, but it's probably easy now. See? So easy. That's a good one. That's a, that's a good axe there. That's a well round axe for uh, everything you want to do with it. We'll see how this goes because it's been a long time since I uh, swung a big axe like this. This one takes up uh, need a lot of room. I can't even use the uh, tree, it's too high. So here we go. Oh yeah, it worked good. There's a lot of knots in this tree too. If I was splitting a smaller, smaller piece, that would have made quick work of it. That's pretty, uh, pretty heavy axe. You can hear it wanting to cut. I can't even do it. It's a huge axe. There we go. Yeah, lots of knots in this one. That's okay though, because I still did pretty good with that tree. <laughs> I'm not used to these big axes. I'm used to, to the backpack size axes. This is a massive hit. Oh, I hit that right. Weird. Yeah. Definitely something I gotta get used to. So many knots in this tree. Lots of knots in this one. Let's see what this one is. <laughs> Boom. So you can see the knots in here. That's why I cracked it's actually weird. Because it's so so knotty this wood. There you go. That's what's supposed to happen. Try this one. Smaller piece. Boom. See? Smaller piece with less knots. Quick work. Just about made it through. <laughs> this thing is huge. I do like it, but it's heavy. And uh, it's bigger than what I'm used to. But I still like it. See? The good thing is, better you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to really use a lot of force when you're coming down. You can basically let the weight of the axe do the work. <clears throat> Beautiful axe. These these handles are. Really cool. Loving the handles. <laughs> so big. I hardly had to even uh, put force on the way down there. Because the weight of this thing is crazy. Few knots in this one. 
can tell this is you not to me because that thing should have tipped that way to me. At least it was not too small for this one. <laughs> this piece of wood has lots of knots too. You can see the knots here. It's all nuts, and there's like eight of them on the, along the bite along this one. Let's see if I can give this one a good whack. Oh, it's gonna split, but it's the, knot, the knots that keep it from splitting. It's not the axe. You, can, you can't see it on the camera, but uh, when the when the wood splits, you can see where a knot, the knot keeps it together. This is definitely pretty. Pretty crazy, this fact. See, the, knot, the knots made it, uh, there's two big knots on this side. See right here? Lots of knots in there. Okay. I'm done playing around. That thing is crazy. Now is, the style of fire I'm building is called Log Cabin. Simply like you would build a cabin. The reason why this fire is good it's because in between the uh, logs, you get lots of uh, air. And the wind will get in there and uh, make the fire go good. And to get that fire going, we'll do a thing called feather stick. And I'll show you that in a second. So basically that's my log cabin. They see your feather stick. Wind just started roaring across the beaver pond. It just picked up, so we, I had to go find some uh, birch bark. And birch bark, of course, works wonders.
cheers everybody it's my favorite time of day again it's christmas eve coffee time out at beaver pond camp cheers everybody and of course cheers to 2023 pretty decent year and here's to 2024 wishing everybody the best cheers to you cheers to everybody cheers to everybody for watching really appreciate appreciate all the support and of course a big cheers to my honey at home she's my biggest fan my biggest support and my everything so cheers honey and cheers to my little puppers as well love those guys cheers everybody beautiful out here again can't believe it december 24th and i'm out here just with a button-up shirt on can't, can't believe it oh that coffee's good so good maple flavor coffee the fire is really nice so i'm pretty happy with those uh the new axes i got gotta be honest with you my two favorite axes are the two smaller ones i gotta get uh gotta get used to swinging a bigger, bigger one i don't usually uh, carry around a big axe like that that's a big uh that's a huge axe to be carrying around so but i did like it it was fun to use for sure and that saw that saw was unreal it just cuts through stuff like butter so good and uh, i really feel like it's not gonna crack my other ones crack every now and again the smaller blades but this one's a thick blade if you take your time it's gonna it's, it's really good cheers everybody we're having a time out here again. So one of my buddies, my best friend actually, made me a dessert. And it's a Filipino divert, dessert called uh, lechi plan. And it's almost like a custard with some uh, caramelized caramel on it. And it is uh, absolutely delicious with some coffee. So, of course, cheers to my best friend for making that for me. I really appreciate it. And I didn't, and I forgot to bring a spoon. But that's okay. Oh. That is so good. Oh, man. Just what I needed. That is so yummy. Check this stuff out. So delicious. Mmm. So the plan is just for me to wait for this fire to die down a bit. Probably end up throwing some snow on there. And then I'm going to make my way out here because it is December 24th. And I do want to spend some time with my honey. Mmm. I'm definitely eating this first. So. Cheers, everybody. Just a short little video. I got all next week off, so. And the weather is supposed to be pretty decent. So we're going to get into it for sure. So cheers to the future here. And I also got a new, uh, a new hot tip for Christmas. And that's coming soon. That's coming next week. So we're going to be, uh, we're going to take that out. We're going to have to do the first burn on the wood soap. Is when you get a wood stove, you gotta do the first burn outside the tent, because there's chemical stuff that burn off the tent, and you don't want you don't want to be inside of a tent breathing that in when that's doing that. So, so that's the first thing we're gonna do next week after Christmas. Oh, cheers, everybody! I'll talk to you in a bit. I'm diving in here. It's Christmas Eve. Santa's on his way. I'm pretty sure I just seen Santa down the trail here. And he got a bigger toboggan than me. So I'm walking out here. Very clear night. And an almost full moon. And it's just magical out here. And actually I just startled two uh, grouse. Or ptarmigan. I'm not too sure. So. Beauty of a night. Beauty of a haul out. Beauty of a day. Today was beautiful. And the fire out there on the beaver farm was just awesome. So I had a wonderful time. 
And I wanted to say, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And there's many more to come. Many things are happening. New tents, new hot tents, new places to tent, new camps. I'm actually going to, uh, I'm going to be moving my beaver pond camp soon. That's going to be the, one of the first things on my agenda. The other first thing on my agenda is to uh, do a first burn on my new hot tent. Because you got to burn the stove, burn off all the fumes first. So, everybody, I'm Todd, and you're watching Outdoors with Todd. Merry Christmas, everybody, and a Happy New Year. We'll catch you in the next one.